Hey everyone, it's Michelle from Nannies on Call, and we're bringing you new videos each week to educate and inspire you to be the best nanny you can be. Okay, so some of our most popular videos have to do with the nanny, uh, with nanny interviews, so we thought we would tackle some more of the questions here. Of course, when you go to a nanny interview, it seems like you're there for the family to interview you and ask you about your experience and your background and how you'll fit with their family. But the reality is you're also there to interview them. You need to make sure it's a good fit for you so that you can have the most success possible. So um, today we'll go over 10 questions that you can ask the family that will help you decide if this job is right for you. Okay, let's get right to it. So number one, what does a typical day look like? So here you want to, them to be very specific, you know, will they be getting the children up from school for school? Will you be helping with breakfast? Will you be um, taking the kids to activities, soccer? What is it that they expect the day to look like? So you want them to run through the entire day. Don't let them be vague like, oh, well, it'd be just great if you come on over and play with the children. That's not truly what they want. So make sure you get a very specific outline of what a typical day looks like. Okay, number two, what are they looking for in terms of commitment? So this is helpful for you to decide if you're a good fit for the family. So do they want a summer nanny? Do they want a long-term nanny? Someone who's gonna grow and develop with their children and stay with them for years to come. What is it that they're looking for so that you can understand and decide if it's a good fit for you? Okay, number three. Discipline philosophies, this is a big one. You don't wanna be in a household where maybe your philosophies don't match with theirs or you have trouble because they don't, they don't believe in saying no to their children. You want to be in a place where you agree with what they do. So a couple of what if questions surrounding what's important to you. So I just have one example here. So what if you come home from work and I'm disciplining the children? How do you handle it, right? That's a good, it happens all the time. Are they gonna step in? Are they gonna let you finish? Do they back you up for what you're doing? How do they handle that? So you need to look at what's important to you as a nanny and come up with a couple of what if scenarios. Maybe they're from previous jobs, things that have happened that you weren't happy with. Now's the time to figure out if this family will do things differently. Okay, number four likes and dislikes this is an easy one um, you can ask them what their children like sometimes children are in the interview and sometimes they're not so what do the children like not like allergies any things to be aware of sports indoor activities outdoor activities there's so many things to cover uh, and it's really hard for me to nail it down here because it's totally up to you but hopefully these questions will help figure out if they're an indoor family and they don't trust the nanny to take the children to the park and you love being outdoors this is probably not the job for you. So make sure you figure out before uh, you accept the job what the likes and dislikes of the families are, you know, healthy eating, junk food eating, it's all important, okay? Five, uh, ask if they've had a nanny before. Are you the first time they've had a nanny? Have they had multiple nannies? Do they rotate through nannies, right? You all know the families that have nanny after nanny after nanny. So have they had a nanny before? How did they find it? If it's their first nanny, what are their expectations? And then finally, maybe ask, well, ask for sure, and maybe they'll allow you to speak to their previous nanny uh, so you can get an idea of what it's like to work for the family. They're asking for your references, you can ask them for references as well. Number six, uh, do they work from home? So do they have a separate workspace? How do they handle the day? Do they come in and out of the children, uh, children's lives through the day or they expect to be totally hands off and you to handle everything? How does that break down? So uh, it's just really important, especially during COVID, a lot of families are working ho from home. You wanna know what you're stepping into and what your expectations will be and see if you align in what you believe. Number seven, what do they like to use for communication? So some people use a communication book that's in the house, you write down, especially for really young ones, maybe under one or even under six months. They want to know what you've been doing, uh, how many diaper changes, how much did they eat, bottle feed, that kind of thing. Older kids, you know, did they do their homework? Uh, how were they activities? Are they tired? So you gotta figure out, you need to figure out how to communicate with them. Do they like a book, an app? 
texting during the day, photos of the children all day? Do they want you to call and give an update? So whatever it is, you, help, uh, you can find out at the interview stage what that looks like. And of course, number eight is COVID questions. Uh, this is a new one, but you want to find out what their beliefs are around masks, vaccines, what's the expectation of being on transit, taking the children out, where can they go, not go, do the children wear masks, do they want you to wear a mask in the house the whole time, what are their cleaning policies, what is their bubble like? These are all sorry. things that, sorry, that was my phone. She thought I was giving her instructions. Um, so, um... Yeah, so figure out what the bubble is and see if that aligns with what you're looking for in a job. And then finally, I think I only have nine now that I say it. So maybe we're at nine. Um, what are the next steps? So do they want you to follow up? Are they interviewing other nannies? Do they want to make a decision in the next week, in the next three weeks? What should the wait process look like? Because lots of nannies complain that uh, they get interviewed and then they don't hear anything for months on end, but the family's actually just doing stuff on the back end. So if you flat out ask that at the interview, then you will know. Okay, so that's nine, nine in the end, nine tips on or questions that you can ask in the interview. You don't have to ask all of them and you can pick the ones that work best for you and the things that are most important to you. That's the key. But definitely you should be asking questions. If at the end of the interview you have nothing to say, um, then the family might think that you're not that interested or you don't have that much experience. Coming with a sheet of questions and knowing what you want to ask the family and what's important to you will set you apart and make you the professional nanny that you are. Well, that's it for this week. That's all the questions we or all answered, the nine questions that you can ask in the interview. If you have any other questions that you love to ask in the interview, I'd love to see them below. We're always adding to um, the information for other nannies. And if there's any other videos or things we can help you with, please reach out, we'd love to help. Have a great week and we'll talk to you next week. See ya.